Give us a brief summary of the book you have chosen. Um, the book that I've chosen is called Way to Go uh, by Tom Ryan. Um, in the story, uh, Danny is a 17-year-old teenager who may be gay, uh, happens to live in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, has a really complicated time for any of his life. Um, his friends, Kirsten and Jay, um, have a set of regulations for every certain occasion, and Jay, who doesn't seem to be apprehensive about his grades, uh, and will not graduate with his friends, um, as his buddies keep irritating uh, Danny about his sex life, Danny's father keeps disquieting him about his future occupation. As his summer uh, commences, Danny scampers into a terrible situ condition, which guides his summer downhill. Um, he digs into trouble with the cops for underage drinking, and his mother demands him to unearth uh, a job to stay out of uh, trouble and as punishment, which wrecks his plans for, um, for the summer with his friends. I'm, I'm not going to give too much detail, but that's uh, my summary. What was your favorite quote? Um, my favorite quote was, um, in the story was, Guys are all the same. Fight, drink, screw, so stupid. I chose this quote because uh, I thought it was hilarious how this person had incorrect impressions on, um, on teenage boys or guys. Uh, there are teenagers who might drink, fight, or slack off at times, but not everybody, uh, not all the guys resemble to that. Um, actually, some boys uh, don't get involved in conflict at all, uh, or drink, and they even act on their best behavior. In your opinion, what is the major theme of the novel? Um, in my opinion, the theme of the story is identity. Um, I think it's because Danny had a rough start off during the summer. Um, he had trouble figuring himself uh, as people kept distressing him about it. For instance, Danny had difficulty finding his liking. Um, what I mean by this, he didn't want to admit that he was homosexual uh, or like to himself nor his friends. This leads him to more stress and because of this, he kind of think he fears that he might he was gonna get uh, bullied or his friends might turn him down and uh, might not talk to him anymore. Um, briefly describe the protagonist, antagonist, and the main conflict. Don't give a don't give away the resolution of the conflict. Oh, okay. Um, so the protagonist is definitely uh, Danny, and the antagonists are the people surrounding him, like uh, Kierce, Dan, uh, Jay, and Lisa. Uh, Kyrus is an antagonist because he's the one who's um, always uh, distressing him, nagging him all the time, uh, and he always has to talk about his uh, Danny's uh, sex life. So Danny doesn't like it because he knows that he's doing himself, but um, Kyrus keeps on forcing him, like he keeps on stressing him about and using weird, like mean. Mean, saying mean things about like gay, uh, homosexual, and queer, being queer and stuff. And Jay, Jay is another friend. Um, actually, Jay is a better pr a friend. Uh, but he, Jay doesn't know that Danny is gay. Uh, so he kind of tags along with Kirst and does the same thing. But he does it in a limit. And, and Kirst, like, he always keeps on making fun of Danny for not having a... Uh, uh, being sexual with a girl. Um, and Lisa. Lisa is the whole reason why um, all the friends just started uh, to get in a fight. Uh, because Lisa liked um, uh, tears and that's where Jay, uh, Danny kind of gets disappointed. Read the book overall out of five star. Um, if I was to rate this book, uh, I would give it a three star. Uh, I would rate it three because the book was reasonable, but uh, but it was kind of a, like a bizarre ending, and there was like there was uh, as well as the conflict, it was like not it wasn't reasonable at all. In your opinion, is it a good grade ten academic ISU book choice? Uh, in my opinion, it's not such a great uh, ISU book because. Um, it has lots of intensive language and it has like lots of sexuality that people may not like or find it unknown or kind of gross or in a way. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you.